Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about this was a VG 30 or 3.3 liter engine and the notorious timing gear, timing belt that's stuck on it. You notice if you look really close to it, you can see that these are the rounded teeth, the ones with the rounded teeth on it. So you can definitely see it's a VG 3.33. Sorry for the out of focusness here, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Raise this up here, but you can see what I did to get this off of there is I tapped and drilled into the gear to be able to get this off. And I used um, a six millimeter, six, um, six millimeter by 1.0 pitch on the threads. And these are grade, I think they were grade A, but they kind of look like they're a little bit more than that. If you see this right here, let me go ahead and focus on that right there. Yeah, it says a 10.9, but I thought they were grade A, but they're definitely hardened bolts that I used. And you notice that I got it down in there. You can see it right, right up to the edge of it. You can see this. So this is the method that I used to be able to pull this gear off. Uh, see, there we go. We got some focus on it. You see, as all it is, I just tapped and drilled and put it right inside there. Just so you can take a look at this, you can also see that there is definitely some rust inside of this thing. And that was the reason why I couldn't get it off of there. So, And I just wanted to make this video to say that, um, even talking to some other mechanic friends of mine, that you definitely do not want to heat that crank up. If you heat the crank up to be able to pull this timing belt gear off of a VG 3.3 liter engine on a Nissan, this is on a Nissan Xterra 2001, you are definitely going to warp the crank and you can end up having a knock, a rod knock in it because it actually changes the shape of the crank. By pulling this method off, you definitely good. And I used some emery cloth to be able to clean the uh, crank up. And I'll be putting grease to bubble. And I just ordered a new gear. This this gear with the washers, everything cost me like $43 brand new. Not a used one, but a brand new one with new washers on the rear and the back. So I just want to let you know, this is a nice little proler. And again, it's 6 millimeter by 1.0 pitch. And then these are 90 millimeter in length bolts that I have threaded in here with some plano washers what this is right here this is a steering wheel puller kit that i use to be able to pull this out so it's an ordinary steering wheel puller kit that you can buy at uh, autozone thanks again